Hey, what's up guys? My name's Curtis and this is the Floating Bed Frame 3.0. I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick. So come on, let's take a look. I'll start off with pictures and feedback I've received from some pretty terrific people that I had never spoken to before prior to my original Floating Bed Frame video. Your kind words and successful builds truly are inspiration for me. Thank you. In this video, I'll be adding some floating nightstands, locks for the storage area on the headboard, and I'm going to completely redesign the base under the bed to function as storage so we can have a place to hide a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to get loaded up on the saw, carefully make my measurements, check them twice, make all my cuts, and I'll end up with several boards leaning against the wall so I can show you a list of cuts you will need to make to complete the base modification. Since I've already built and updated this bed frame a couple times, it's only going to take me just a few short seconds to complete, completely take it apart. Make sure and take a look at my video part 2 the headboard to see how to make a super neato addition to this build. It's been a little over a year since I built the original floating bed frame and by far my favorite thing is the lack of bed posts for me to kick. I honestly haven't even really banged my leg on the frame either. It's super solid and with this video has lots of useful additions too. I'll get everything laid out and pause for a moment so you can see which boards I'm using for this step. I've already sanded down my boards and pre-drilled my holes so my build should be pretty time efficient right now. Oh, and video editing helps of course too. The 2x4s that sit on top of the 2x8s are shorter in length and width by about an inch when compared to the 2x8s to allow a small space for the lights to sit once I get them put back on. This will allow me to rest the base piece on its side without crushing the lights when I need to move it in the future. I installed L brackets on the inside corners of the 2x4s for added strength. I'll quickly reinstall the lights and place the frame back on top of the new base. Once I've made the measurements necessary to make sure the frame is sitting right where I want it, I'll use some of the old 2x4 joist braces, cut down to about 6 and 3 quarters of an inch to secure the frame to the base. It's nothing super fancy, but it's relatively inexpensive to do yourself and provides a huge sense of accomplishment. Hopefully this is also easy enough to copy or at least gives you a platform to change as you see fit. Go on and smash that like button if I'm doing a good job here. I'd really appreciate it. Let me hear what you think in the comments section too. I reply as quickly as I can. I made a whole video showing you how to modify the bed frame to attach and build this headboard. Make sure you check out that video if you like the way that this looks because I'm adding floating nightstands to it right now. Let me back up just a tiny little bit and I'll make some more cuts. This again is nothing super fancy so all you'll need is just a couple 1x8s. Cut the pieces to 6 at 16 inches and 4 at 8 inches to build the floating nightstands the way I did here. I screwed in from the back face board into the top and bottom boards to make my storage area deeper instead of taller. Pre-drilling your holes for this step is an absolute must. Cutting the cleated brackets would have been a whole lot safer to do in larger pieces on the table saw, but we like to do dangerous things, so I'll use part of this video to encourage you to always be safe. Whether you are experienced or not, accidents can always happen more quickly than the blink of an eye. Stay focused and pay attention to what you're doing to avoid accidents that will limit your fun time in the shop. We trimmed down a 2x4 just enough to make it square because I didn't want the rounded edges on the cleated brackets. Then a 45 degree cut was made on each piece. This is why it would have been safer to handle these in larger pieces. You can see we had a couple near misses while handling these pieces on the table saw. Make sure and use the right tools and techniques for the job you are working on. Even if you know what you are doing, safety is always first. We are barely going to make it through this project with all our parts and pieces still intact, so I'll get back to the job site and start taking some more measurements. Hindsight is 2020, and looking back, I may have mounted the nightstands even with the height of the headboard storage area instead of the height of the mattress, but this is an easy adjustment that can be made later if I choose to do so. I'll mark where I want to pre-drill the holes for the cleated bracket that will mount to the headboard and quickly mount that up, pre-drilling again through the cleat into the headboard to make sure it sits level and exactly where I want it to. Once this is installed, I need to attach a piece level with the bottom of the nightstand to keep it from twisting the bracket off. I just used the end of a 2x6, again pre-drilling the holes. I don't know the exact capacity of this setup, but I'm sure a fully grown house cat could stand on it with no problem. It's looking pretty level so I'll get straight to the locks on the storage areas for the headboard. This part took longer to film and edit than it did to actually complete installation. Simply follow the instructions that come with the lock set that you purchase. You can tell by now that carpenters love to measure things so make sure and keep your tape measure close by. I needed a 3 quarter inch paddle bit for the lock size I chose. I took the time to make sure the orientation of the lock would be the way I wanted it to be while in the locked and unlocked position. 
This process is thoroughly broken down by the manufacturer of the lock set you end up using. I pretty much eyeballed the depth needed to mount the L bracket to complete the locking mechanism. This is a simple setup designed to show you just one way that you can add a little security to your storage. There won't be any national security secrets in here, so I think this will be good enough for my needs. I appreciate you taking the time to support my channel and grow with me. I'll be back in 2021 with some more really interesting things. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions and come back and see me soon. If you aren't trying to do all this and just want to build the original floating bed frame, here it is with the measurements in inches and centimeters. Thanks for watching.